good morning everybody and welcome back to the vlog how are we all doing i hope we're all doing very well do not panic i'm not going to do my makeup with you i feel like i've done that quite a lot just recently and my last video was a get ready with me although i have no makeup on right now i just wanted to start the vlog in this position because guys in my i think it must have been my last vlog I spoke to you about this beauty pie under eye concealer color corrector kind of thing and I said to you I'd seen one of my friends it was actually my friend Nicole and when I saw her she looked really well and I mentioned had she had under eye filler I've told you this story but if you haven't watched this vlog I'm just repeating myself and she laughed and said no she was using this color corrector from beauty pie and it looks like this it's almost like a pinky color as you can see I have been using it and I've been putting it underneath my eyes for about the last 10 days i guess it's been that long maybe two weeks i can't remember when it was i got it but guys it is so good and i just wanted to show you at the beginning of this video the difference it makes to your under eyes so this is how i put it on i mean i probably should put it on with a brush but something i'm really short of is makeup brushes like i don't have many of them but i found just rubbing it in like this with my finger works just fine it looks a little bit crazy right now but you just gotta trust the process and I will show you, once all my makeup is done, the difference that this makes. So I've just finished doing the rest of my makeup, but look at my under eye bags, or should I say my non-existent under eye bags. <laughs> like honestly, this Beauty Pie product is unbelievable. If you wanted to know, I wear shade Light Medium. I think it comes in two different shades, but yeah, this is Light Medium and it's great. By the way, I was really lucky today. I went into Space NK this morning and I managed to get my hands on the sold out Hourglass Phantom Lip Gloss, which I think I've gone on about in every single vlog, but I ran out. i just gonna show you my old one, how much it has run out. Like literally I dug it out to the bottom. But I've asked in so many different shops and it's sold out everywhere. And I was just walking up the King's Road, nipped into Space NK and they had it in all of the colors. So I'm so happy to have it back on my lips. Anyway, I need to blow dry out my fringe because if I don't blow dry it, this is what it looks like. I need to pop on an outfit and I'll see you in a minute. Look how cute this outfit is I have on. I wore it out yesterday. I mean, you know, I'm not sure I have an outfit rewear. So it's this little shorts and top set. Look, this is how the top looks. It looks like this. It's got a little bit of branding on it and it is from Adenola. I love their stuff so much. They do really kind of great everyday active wear slash gym wear. I often wear their like matching leggings and bralette sets to Pilates, although I can't lie, I've not been to Pilates in a good few weeks. But yesterday I wore this and then I wore it with my New Balance 550s, which are these just here. These are so comfy by the way. And then here's an Adenola sock. I'm just gonna show you like the full outfit I wore cause I loved it so much. When I ordered this set, I really only thought I was gonna wear it around the house, but they're so comfy and they look really cool. And I feel like it'd be the most perfect travel outfit as well. So this is how I wore it with these little socks, my trainers. And then I also had my big Adenola tote bag. This is I think my third Adenola tote bag because I use them so much that they get like a little bit tatty because I just drag them everywhere with me. But this is one of their newer ones, which I think is really cool. It's got this cute little print on the front of it just there. I did actually do quite a big Adenola order. So I thought I could show you everything I picked up. We'll go in there and do it. But I also have other things to show you. I went a little bit wild in Harrods. I mean, like I just have no excuse at this point other than treat yourself, why not? And I mean, like, here we are. Also did the biggest shop in Zara, which I feel like needs its own video because there's a lot of stuff in here. But first of all, let me show you everything else I got from Adenola because I know you guys are going to love it. Okay, I've just propped you up so we can do a proper try and haul with everything I picked up from Adenola. So as I've already said, this set is so, so comfy. And I feel like it looks really cool as well. Just for reference, everything I wear from Adenola is in a size medium. I did at one point always used to order their leggings in a size small. And they definitely still fit in a small. But I just hate when things are too tight. There's a lot of stretch in all of their fabrics. But I just prefer when things are a little bit looser. It just feels more comfortable on me. And I also always prefer that little bit more of an oversized look. Especially in outfits like this. So everything I'm wearing is a size medium. So this is obviously the grey set. And then this is how I've styled it up. Just kind of every day. I will obviously do a cutaway so you guys can see it in full. Now I loved it so much in grey. I actually got it in grey first. I decided to order it in another colour. So let me show you the other colours I got. So this set is kind of like same. 
but different. The reason I say it's the same is because I have on the comfy shorts once again, but obviously this is in a totally different colour. And I have a jumper on rather than a t-shirt, which has this really cool zip. So you can zip it up like this, or you can wear it undone like that. I really love the branding on this too. On the grey set, the branding isn't as obvious, but on here it's all in white and then it matches as well on the shorts too. And I feel like on camera, this set is almost showing kind of like a taupey colour, but in real life, it is the most gorgeous, kind of like khaki olive colour. I don't often wear colours like this, but I think it looks so nice on. I've also said this before about Adenola, but I absolutely stand by it, that their quality is unmatched. Like, I wish you could feel how thick this material is through the camera. You're just going to have to take my word for it. But it feels so much more expensive than it is. And I feel like it all just fits like a dream. Obviously, I've gone for like the baggier look with this top. So if you didn't want it to be so baggy, I would recommend sizing down. But I love how this looks. And I've said it about the grey set. But wouldn't this just make the most perfect airport outfit? Because I feel like when we go on holiday, we're always going to a hot place. Or mostly we're going to a hot place. And you don't want to wear all these layers on the plane because when you get there you're going to be sweating but the planes are always cold aircon on the plane it's always freezing but this is the perfect outfit because obviously you've got your shorts on so when you land you're going to be nice and cool when you're on the plane you've got your jumper you wear a little adenola crop top underneath if you go on holiday this summer this is the outfit you guys need but as i said i wore the gray set out all day in london yesterday and I just think they're such a vibe. So this next set will prove anyone wrong that thinks that Adenola is just another gym wear brand and that you can only wear it when you're going to the gym because guys, look at this little outfit I have on right now. So I've styled it with a linen shirt, but I have on the cutest and most comfortable ribbed cycling shorts with a matching top. The colour is almost a mix between beige and then a sage colour. If I get a little bit closer, I can show you the material just up close. It's a ribbed material and then the top has this kind of little spaghetti strap on it. How lovely and easy is this little outfit? Obviously, you could take the shirt off and wear it without like that. I prefer to cover up a little bit. So I would definitely wear it like this, even on a warm day. I honestly love this outfit. It also comes in different colours because I've seen it on the website in cream as well. And that is so nice. Now this t-shirt and shorts could possibly be my favourite. I absolutely love this branding across the front. I feel like it looks kind of like vintage-y. If you guys remember, I actually have a jumper that matches this. I actually wore it in my last Adenola haul. I'll show it in a minute because I'm going to pair this in like a different way. Because a lot of these items, you can kind of mix and match to make different looks. But this is obviously a shorts. And by the way, these shorts are elasticated waist. All of the shorts I've shown you are. And then they also have drawstrings, so you can really pull them in as well. But obviously the shorts have the same branding on as this t-shirt. So they go together absolutely perfectly. I've then paired it with more greys. We've got on the grey Adenola socks. I actually love these socks. I wear them all the time. Mainly wear the white ones most. But they're just really good with everything. They're a proper good thick sock, you know. And then I have on my New Balance. By the way, I have so many different pairs of New Balance nowadays. But how cool is this? I'm going to show you though how you could wear this a totally different way i've honestly just gone and got these cycling shorts out of the wash i wear them so much <laughs> they are dirty but i just wanted to show you how these look with this t-shirt so the t-shirt is actually quite long which is really good because it covers your bum when you're in cycling shorts and then with a bag and a pair of sunglasses i'm sorry but i love this look so much i'm also going to quickly show you the jumper so as you can see the jumper matches the t-shirt and then looks great with the cycling shorts as well as i said i absolutely love this branding across the front i think it's really cool and this is definitely an outfit that i would wear out and about all of the time super comfy easy to wear but i also think looks cool at the same time and last up i have on a pair of cargos which is actually really different for adenola but they are so on trend right now. I have a couple of pairs of cargoes, but these could quite possibly be my new fave. These are in like a really deep, kind of green khaki. They fit like a dream around my waist. I love the pockets on the side of them as well. I've then styled them up with this kind of like over-exaggerated shoulder pad top. They also go so perfectly with my multi pochette from Louis Vuitton, like the colour khaki is spot on. And for my shoes, I have on my New Balance 550, the green ones because they match so well this would also look really nice with a crop top but what's even better is these come in a short version so as you can see these are the same color and material but rather than a long trouser they are a short 
Personally, I just love the cargos. I just think they're really cool, but I think the shorts are a really good option, especially if you're going away. So I hope you enjoyed that little Adenola haul. I have some very good news, guys. Ever since I did my last Adenola haul, I get messages all the time asking if I have a new discount code, and I finally have one, so you guys can go and get some money off of their website. I will leave it on screen now. I'll also pop it down below with all the links to everything I showed you, so you can go and shop it all from there. I now need to pick an outfit, because I've got about half an hour before I meet my friends to go and watch Ted. I'm actually so excited. If you can see the floor in my dressing room, you're just gonna have to ignore the state of it because I've just been on a crazy rampage trying to find an outfit to wear tonight. And guess what I'm wearing? The outfit I've worn 7,000 times before, but I feel comfortable in it. I think it looks cool, so we're going with this. I don't even know if I've told you guys, but I'm about to go meet my friends because I'm going to a concert. Do you not think the word concert sounds so old fashioned? But like, what else would you say? A gig? That sounds even more like something my mum would say. Anyway, I'm going to a concert and we're going to watch Thames. We are so excited. And I just didn't know what to wear. So I've ended up putting on a cropped white t-shirt, like literally, how many times have you seen me in this outfit? A pair of jeans, which are kind of baggy. These are from Naked Fashion. My black and white dunks in, um, these are called Panda, right? I think they're called that. Then I have on this brown blazer, which is from Arket. I probably don't need the blazer actually because it's actually kind of warm out. And then I'm gonna wear my Chanel mini. I kind of wanted the outfit to be comfy, but cool. And I feel like it kind of is the vibe. I need to take my lipstick. I need to take my purse. And my friend is waiting downstairs for me. So we need to go. I'll try and vlog as much as I can when we're there. That's her calling me now. Bye. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my hair this morning. I am so tired if you can't tell by my voice. I feel like my voice sounds like I'm tired. Um, I had the best night last night. Thames was brilliant. We had so much fun, sang our hearts out. And I went to bed at like 3 a.m. I had to edit something and then had to sort all my outfits and I've just got to meet my dad. My dad and I honestly haven't shot together in like two months, I'd say. So I've met him this morning in London and we're about to shoot some content, but yeah, I am shattered, um, but whatever, we move. Um, I don't know how much of today I'm going to film because we just like to just get it done, not mess around. I'll obviously show you all my dad because I know you'll love him so much, um, but yeah, I'll see you when I'm done shooting. The man himself. Why does this look so dark? It looks kind of dark. Know, it's really hard to see, isn't it? <laughs> Once you get in the light, you find it. No, but I just that with this, this the picture itself looks really dark. Yeah. I don't know why. How you doing, Dad? I'm not so bad. Not so bad. Here he is. Outfit of the day. Where's your shirt from? Yeah, big weight. Uh, I'm sure. Yeah, Primark. big weight loss. He's lost some weight, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, where's your? He's not from Primark. Marks and Spencers. Marks and Spencers. Where's Everything's the shorts with, from? Um, Callaway. Oh. Nice. Extra and the stretch. shoes? And these are all the way from America called Donna Dana. Ooh, or Dana. Styling yeah. it out, got your summer outfit on. <laughs> we are on outfit number two and the day is going okay, not the best. But anyway, positive vibes. Outfit number two, we're gonna try and shoot five. So everything's good. Well, all I can say is I was so tired last night. I came home after shooting ended up eating a um, Pizza Express, you know, just like one of the pizzas you get from Tesco's. Margarita, ate it all to myself and fell asleep. I was honestly, like after having three hours sleep the night before, it was not great. Anyway, I had a full eight hours and I'm feeling raring to go this morning. By the way, I love these Chloe trainers so much. They are beautiful, like one of my favorite pairs of shoes. However, they are the most uncomfortable trainers ever. Like, I don't even know why I repeat wear them because they just, well, they're not actually uncomfortable, they just rub. I think I continue to wear them in the hope that one day they will stop rubbing, but we're just gonna brave it today. I'm not walking too much. Today, I'm going to a house viewing. 
I mean, a lot of you are going to be thinking, what? You haven't even told us about this. To be honest, it's um, the first house you're in. I'm just going just to just to get the ball rolling with that whole situation. As you guys know, I obviously rent where I live right now. And I've had other discussions with you before and I feel like I need to have a proper in-depth conversation about it all. And so I've just been looking online and I found a house that I think looks kind of nice. So that's where we're going this morning. I don't know how much of it I'm going to be able to vlog. Um, I'll try and do a bit, but obviously when it's someone else's home, it's probably not wise vlogging too much. But, you know, I'll show you bits if I can. And I'm actually really excited, looking forward to it. So let's go so the outfit is very cream so the top is from cos it's just like a little t-shirt their t-shirt quality is always 10 out of 10 these trousers are kind of like balloon style jeans they're actually quite old i got them from zara i want to say two or three years ago i will try and link something similar down below and then obviously my beautiful yet uncomfortable chloe trainers i'm actually matching my living room right now have beyonce's new album on i've had very mixed reviews about it so i'm gonna listen to it on the journey and let you know my thoughts guys i've just been to view the house it was so nice like it, it's perfect like it's it's in the right location it's right near a station it's it is the spec of the house it's unbelievable i wish i could show you videos but because obviously it's not my house i feel like i can't really be putting that on the internet i feel really confused like this is the first house i've looked at since i said i was gonna like buy a house um since the last time and i didn't really think i was gonna like it well, i did think i was gonna like it but i didn't really think much to it and yeah now i'm thinking what do i do i feel like i need to go back with my parents and look at it again properly we have just come to get some brunch i don't know if you can hear me it's really loud in here then for the veggie and um, like full english kind of thing and added halloumi where are we and we are in two bar and kitchen in beckham never been here before good evening everyone you're gonna have to ignore the state of me i mean i actually look tragic i have just ordered deliveroo having a thai for dinner so hungry We've just been chilling and we're about to watch a film and are gonna stuff our faces with food. So, got spring rolls, green curry, cashew nut curry, egg fried rice, noodles, prawns, just lots of prawns basically. It actually looks banging, doesn't it? I cannot explain how hot and muggy it is today. My living room is blooming boiling. Anyway, hi everyone. I feel like this vlog has as always been spread over a number of days and i don't know what i've been doing in half of it to be honest so it's gonna be fun editing it all back together because i feel like kind of a lot's happened although i don't know how much of it i've actually vlogged as we've gone along yesterday was like kind of a crazy day and i feel like i didn't even sleep last night because i was overthinking the whole situation but i think i told you all already i went to go and view a house i feel like i need to bring you up to speed with that whole situation basically i've spoken to you a number of times about what i'm doing and like you know what i want to do in the future and everything at the moment i am in this apartment as you guys know i've been here for 18 months i rent in london and i am just kind of ready to buy a house i really want to kind of make somewhere my own i'd love a little bit more space and as much as i love living in london i don't love it enough to warrant the cost of living in london if that makes sense and in an ideal world i would actually live close to where my parents lived funny enough i kind of hated it when i was there but i just feel like it was just too far away from my friends in london my life and it's just very boring down there although it's a lovely place so yeah, I'm not going to move back there because it's too far away. So my next option was somewhere around London on the outskirts. Because I have no real attachment to anywhere other than my home in Kent, which I'm not moving back to, as I've already said, it's been kind of like a hard decision. Sorry if you can hear that plane. Planes fly over here a thousand times a day and they're so loud. But it's been kind of a hard decision on where to move to because as I say, I've got no real attachment to anywhere. So I was thinking of places like Essex, Surrey, but then I was also thinking of places like Buckinghamshire. I don't really know and that's such a vast area, but I just want an area that's a really easy commute into the city. I do have some areas I prefer because I have friends living in Essex, have friends living in Surrey. Don't really know anyone in Buckinghamshire, although it was actually where I was born. Um, I do actually have family there, but a lot of them have actually kind of like moved to London themselves anyway so over the last few months i've been on right move like every single day just looking at houses in that very vast area and this is another thing with me 
I kind of thought I wanted to do a, like a reno by an older house and then I could do it up. But then I don't know if that's just a lot of work. The cost of materials at the moment are astronomical. I also have no experience when it comes to a reno project. And I think it's a lot harder than you kind of anticipate. So I've also been open to an older house that's already been renovated, but obviously you pay a premium for the fact it's been renovated. But I have actually looked at it, and to be honest, the cost between a renovated house and a non-renovated house, it seems like a lot. But if you were to buy the unrenovated house, obviously for less money than the renovated house, you would then spend the difference between the price of those two houses on the renovation. Does this make sense? I don't really know if it does. So I just feel a little bit confused. Anyway, the house I went to go view yesterday was an older renovated property. The issues I have with it, it's got no potential. It's perfect. Like it's honestly ticks, I would say it ticks eight out of 10 boxes. Maybe like, to be honest for me, it probably ticks 10 pretty much but like in terms of a property it's probably got two things missing that I think other people would prefer to have but as I said it's been renovated and there's really not much else anyone can do to it and I just feel a little bit confused like do I just go for it because it suits me now or do I hang fire and have a look at some other places I just don't really know and I feel like my head feels so tight and like confused because I really want it. I also posted a little something on my personal Instagram page just asking a few of my friends if they've ever viewed a property and it's the first property they've viewed and then they've bought it. Because after yesterday I was thinking surely I can't buy the first house I view. So I'm going to ask you guys as well, have any of you ever gone to view a house and you've walked in and you've loved it and you've, you've put an offer in and you've bought it and you've never looked anywhere else. Was it a good idea? Do you regret it? Also give me any of your advice on if you've done Renault projects, if you think they're a good idea, if you think it's better not bothering to do that. One of my friends actually, she messaged me last night and she said, Renault projects are a headache, they're hard work, the cost of materials are crazy. Just have an easy life and get a house that you actually like. And then I was like, yeah, you've really got a point, but obviously you don't necessarily make any money on them i don't know i feel so confused about it all but the exciting thing is it looks like i'm moving in the direction of finding somewhere and you never know like that could be the house if that ends up being the house for me like i will be so happy it's insane and yeah i would love it anyway that's me bringing you up to date with my whole house situation as i've already said if you've got any advice for me Please give me all the advice in the comments, DM me on Instagram, just let me know what you think about everything that I've just spoken about because I feel very confused and I want, I want your help. Anyway, something that is not house related is how much I've bought over the past like couple of weeks. And you know what? I actually wish I could take some of it back like because I had no intentions of going to view a house by the way, I just want to also tell you that my timeline is I have until February of next year to get out of this flat. So I'm still here for like another six months, but I just wanted to get the ball rolling with looking at houses, which is another reason I wasn't really intended to buy anything anytime soon. I was just looking and then fell in love with the house. But anyway, I went shopping this week, bought all this stuff. And if I knew I was going to find a house that I really liked with the potential I could possibly buy it, I wouldn't have bought at least one of these items and I kind of wish I could take it back, but I can't. So I'm just gonna pretend that it's not an issue and show you it anyway. And um, I need to sell some of my life because, um, yeah. Anyway, all of the things I purchased, I think bar one were all from Harrods. The reason I shop at Harrods, I've said this before, but if you don't already know, if you shop at Harrods, they give you a rewards card and it goes up in different tiers. I think it's basically bronze, silver no i think it's silver gold black i think that's how it goes and if you spend over a certain amount you move up different tiers but i think the basic one for every pound you spend you get one point and then i think at the black level for every pound you spend you get three points don't quote me on this all the information is on the harrods website but basically when you spend money you earn money back i've definitely spoken about this before in my vlog this isn't an ad said this last time but harrods if you want to work with me be my guest because I am your best customer at this point. But there's been loads of things I've purchased over the years that I've saved money on because my points have obviously built money up. So things like my white Chanel bag, I think I saved 600 pounds on that bag because of the stuff I'd bought previously. My MacBook, I bought that from Harrods and I think I saved 300 pounds on that. 
you know, just various little purchases you make, you, you gain your points. Anyway, that is a very long-winded explanation of why I shop at Harrods. I mean, also the fact that Harrods is a lovely store and it has everything underneath like one roof. So first up, I got some new makeup. So I got one of my favorite foundations, which is this. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I got a new Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil, which is my fave. Lots of these makeup purchases were just repeat purchases of things I already love. I also got the Hourglass Unlocked Mascara. It's blooming brilliant. And I also got that Hourglass Lip Gloss Lipstick thing, which I've gone on about in every single vlog. The next thing I picked up was not from Harrods. It was from Office. I just nipped in there as I was walking up the King's Road. No intentions to buy anything. And then I saw these a pair of converse and i have been after a pair of platforms beige converse for the longest time ever my voice is gonna go <clears throat> they are so hard to get hold of and they were just there chilling on the shelf so if any of you want them i will link them down below because i did check and they do have them on the office website at the moment in i think all sizes in stock and how nice will these be in autumn? By the way, cannot wait for autumn. So excited. Knit jumpers, jeans. I think they'll be lovely. And I am definitely a Converse girl. I wear them all the time. They're so easy. And that's what I picked up from Office. Then my next purchase was from YSL, Yves Saint Laurent, Saint Laurent, whichever you'd like to call it. So this was also from Harrods. And this is a very good example of why having a Harrods award card is so important or so good you you will need one basically so i've had my eye on what is in this box for a little while and the other day i decided you know what it would actually really go with this outfit i had planned in my head and i went into harrods they had it in so many different colors and i thought do you know what i'm going to get it then when i got to the till oh the um sales assistant said to me oh you have some money to spend on your rewards card do you want to use it and i thought well why not so it was £100 off. So I got this belt, which is what it is. It is a YSL belt. I'll show you it up close. It looks like this. It is so pretty on. It looks so nice against a black outfit. But I got this for £185 because I got £100 off because I had my Harrods reward card points to spend. I mean, guys, if that is not an excuse to shop at Harrods, I don't know what is. How cute is this? As I said, I will insert a photo here now of the outfit I wore the other day. It was like shorts and a black t-shirt, like an all black outfit. This looks so gorgeous against it. And then it also matches my YSL hobo tote perfectly. I don't know why I clicked, that was really awkward. But yeah, it's so nice. And I also love like the little detailing on the back there. Could you see that as well? I actually think this belt is actually really reasonably priced even without the 100 pound off. Like, I think, it's, I think it's pretty good. And then the last thing I got, and this is the thing that I kind of wish I could take back. It's something that has been on my wish list for, I guess, about two years. Like, I've been wanting it for two years. As you guys know, I love my jewellery. It's just what I love to invest my money in. I wear it every single day and I never take it off. I mean, I don't actually wear my jewellery as much as I used to because... Don't know, sometimes in London you don't always feel so safe. But anyway, for the most part, I do really enjoy my jewellery pieces. And I've said it a million times before, I love handbags, I love clothes... But jewellery for me is like, it's my number one. It's my favourite thing ever, ever, ever. So I was actually going to get myself this for my birthday. And I can't remember why I didn't. Did I get myself anything for my birthday? I think I must have done. Was it a bag? I don't think I did. I can't remember the reason I didn't end up getting it. But ever since, it's just played on my mind. It's still been on my wish list. And then the other day, I was in Harris and I thought, Do you know what? Go on, treat yourself. And you've been saving for it why not so this is the bag it obviously came in i can't lie guys i unboxed it on tiktok i apologize in advance and then this is the box in here is the certificate of authenticity i haven't actually looked at this myself yet and the reason i'm now regretting this purchase is because obviously it was kind of expensive i mean it's cartier of course it was expensive and since the fact now suddenly i think i might be buying a house i'm like you could have spent this money on buying yourself a sofa or you could have spent this money on some kind of furniture or even to put towards the deposit like this was almost such an unnecessary purchase but i'll have it forever and i'll wear it all the time i feel like you've just seen it because the box has been open but inside the box is another box and then it opens how all cartier boxes do like so and there we have it guys it is stunning I don't want to dampen the whole experience with my regret of buying it because I don't actually regret buying it because I don't like it. It's just, you know, my money I think could have been better spent at the moment. But it is the Justin Clue ring. 
it is in the bigger size it's the thicker version and it has the diamonds on it as well and i bought it to go on this index finger because this index finger is quite often a very naked finger of mine and i mean it does it, it does look lovely but let me show you it up close i don't have the most beautiful hands i can't lie my hands are a little bit veiny especially when i'm hot but look at the diamonds in it and i am such a magpie honestly anything that sparkles i love how it matches my pinky ring as well and then i have a really gorgeous missouri ring that sits on this finger which goes really really lovely with it too you guys will have to let me know if you like it and if you think it looks nice the good thing about this size that i got as well is it actually fits most of my fingers so i could wear it on this ring this ring this finger i could wear it on this finger here like i can switch it up it doesn't have to be on my index finger which actually a lot of my rings i have the ability to do that with so long story short i love the ring shouldn't have bought it though because i could probably furnish my entire living room with what i spent on that even though i don't even own the house that i'm thinking of the living room that i'm furnishing does any of this make sense but i'm also always the biggest advocate for treat yourself you know like in life you should treat yourself because who else is gonna if you want something go and get it and enjoy it wear it but yeah not when you're also trying to buy a house anyway on that note i do actually have a question for you all do you know at the beginning of this vlog if i did talk to you about that i think i did i said i need to get rid of some of my handbags because some of them just aren't being used and it's time to like move on with a few of them and I always do that. I sell a lot of my handbags to then invest in new ones or invest in new jewellery pieces, whatever it may be. So I'm going to show you what bags I'm thinking of selling and I need some help on which ones you think I should get rid of because... I don't want to get rid of any of them. This is the issue. I love all of my bags but some of them I just don't wear as much as I should. So let's just quickly go and do that because I need your help. Okay, this is all looking a bit of a mess right now. But the first bag I was going to sell was this one, which is the Louis Vuitton bum bag. Now, the reason I've now been put off selling this is I put it on my Instagram and a lot of people that work for Louis Vuitton told me that this bag is now discontinued and I should keep hold of it. So I feel like that's going to be staying with me. So... I was going to sell it and now I'm not. So that one's out of the question. This one here, my purple Balenciaga um, hourglass tote. I love this bag, but it's the wrong colour for me. I just don't wear it enough. And so I think this one has to go. So that's probably the only one I'm completely decided on. The next bag I've been debating selling is this Fendi baguette. I love this bag. If I get rid of it, it's going to be a really, really hard decision. I'm looking at it like I love it so much. But this bag just doesn't really get used enough by me. I don't really know why. It's just not something I reach for very often. I think maybe it's the material and I'm worried about it getting marked. I don't really know. I was thinking of getting rid of my white college tote, which looks like this. And then this weekend, I've used it twice. And now I'm like, I can't get rid of it. I've used it and I love it. And it's... It, oh this is such an issue like I love all of my bags but I need to get rid of some just to make room and yeah so do I get rid of these two I don't know because I love this bag so much like is that a bad decision this is why I need your advice guys should or should I not sell the Fendi what do you think I feel like in this vlog I've asked you guys for so much advice on some very random subjects and they're very different so if any of you give me any advice I will appreciate it so much I feel a little bit confused at the moment I've also having a bit of an issue with my eyes I have this thing where my eyes feel so strained and I get this pressure across the front of my head and my head feels to so tight like Anyone got any advice on that? <laughs> I'm kind of joking, but also not joking because that's really weird. I don't know if it's like stress tension. Anyway, um, yeah, it's been it, it, it's been a vlog full of lots of questions to you guys. And if you guys can help me out with any of it, I would appreciate it so much. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm sending you guys so much love and I will see you in my next video. I am actually starting my next video filming it today. I'm on a roll with YouTube at the moment and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Also, just a reminder, I do also have Instagram and I have TikTok as well. So if you don't already follow me over on those platforms, go and follow me because I'm active on those every single day. I'm sending you all so much love and I hope you will have a positive and great start to your week. I'm saying that because the day you should be watching this is Sunday. Tomorrow is Monday, which means it's the start of the week. So positive vibes for all of you to have a brilliant week. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. Love you all. Goodbye.